Number 22. Calculate the standard cell potential for each reaction below and note whether the reaction is spontaneous under standard state conditions. Okay, so we got Mn solid plus Ni2 plus aqueous yields Mn2 plus aqueous plus nickel solid. Now from here, we have to find a standard cell potential. And a standard cell potential is always a E cell. Now it's going to be like a little E notch cell. That notch just means that we're under standard state conditions. And that's what they asked for. Now, what is the formula for a standard cell potential? Well, it's this right here. E cell always equals the cell potential of a cathode minus the cell potential of an anode. More um, easy, you know, easier, you could just say cathode minus anode. Cathode minus anode. Cathode minus anode. Now remember, cathode is always undergoing reduction, and that's when your charges are always going to become more negative. On the flip side, oxidation happens at the anode, and that's when your charges, your oxidation states, are becoming more positive. So the first thing is, we got to figure out which one is the cathode and which one is the anode. Well, just match up the elements that go together. We have Mn solid on the left and Mn2 plus on the right. That's a definite change in oxidation state or charge because the Mn, remember, anytime that you don't see a charge in the upper right-hand corner, that's a zero. So I started off with a zero, and I'm going to a plus two. So I say to myself, am I becoming more positive or am I becoming more negative? Yeah, I'm becoming more positive. And whenever you're becoming more positive, you're oxidizing, and that's always happening at the anode. Now, hook up the other one. Let's just make sure that we, you know, did it correctly. Nickel 2 plus is starting off. And now I'm going to just the nickel, just the Ni. If I, you know, partner these up, I'm starting with that 2 plus, and I'm ending with an element that doesn't have a charge in the upper right-hand corner. That's a zero. I say to myself, am I becoming more positive or more negative? And I'm definitely becoming more negative. And that's at the cathode. So great. I know that the nickel is going to be my cathode, and the manganese, the Mn, is going to be the anode. Now, they didn't necessarily give me cell potentials for these elements, but that's why I went to the back of the textbook to find them, and that's exactly what we had to do. So, I found out the correct half reactions that go with these charges. And now all we got to do is just take those numbers and plug them in. E cell, the standard state potential for this reaction would be the nickel value. And before I plug this in, I just want to put out a huge thing here is that if you're doing cathode minus anode, cathode minus anode, the minus, 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 you do not have to change these values. The negative does it for you. All right. So that's why I like to do it because less steps, the better. So I'm just going to take the cathode value, which is the nickel one. And I'm going to say negative 0.257, and I'm going to subtract from the manganese. I'm not going to change the sign. So negative 1.185. And now let's see what that standard cell potential is for this reaction. Negative 0.257 minus a negative 1.185. And I get a 0.928. And that's volts. So there's my standard cell potential for this reaction. Now I just got to find out, well, is it spontaneous or not spontaneous? And that all comes from the charge of the E cell. If your E cell value is a positive value greater than zero, that reaction is spontaneous. But if your E cell value is a negative, that reaction is non-spontaneous. The 0.928 is a positive value. So we know that this reaction is a spontaneous reaction. It does not need any additional amount of energy to get it going. It runs by itself. And that is it. That's the answer. I hope this helped. Thanks for viewing the video. 
I, I hope it helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And if you wouldn't mind, please tell your friends, tell your classmates, tell your teacher or professor about this channel. Um, yeah, just a great way to spread the word, get the word out there that this channel exists. And, you know, the channel is growing because, you know, all because of you guys watching the channel, giving us feedback and all that makes us better. So thank you for your input. Thank you for your kind comments. The channel wouldn't be here without you. So let's keep going. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.